As the sun warms the sodden landscape, wild Japanese honeybees are on the move. Each year, they leave their old nest and swarm. The honey reserves stored in their stomachs won't last long, and they must find a new home as a matter of urgency. It's something Yamaguchi plans to take advantage of. Spring is a magical time. The countryside bursts into life. Blossom decorates the trees and the sky hums with the sound of insects. It is also time to collect my wild bees. All I need is an orchid in bloom. And an empty beehive. Now I must wait. When his oriental orchid casts its spell on the breeze, deceit is in the air. It's not long before a wild honeybee is bewitched. It's not nectar that's lured it in, but the smell of its mortal enemy. Thinking it's a hornet, the bee attacks the petals. Determined to fight, she becomes ensnared, forced to bear pollen from the plant. By mimicking the pheromone of the giant hornet, the orchid is exploiting the ancient antagonism between the two insects. Another pheromone calls in more bees. They cannot overcome their instinct to attack what they believe to be their greatest enemy. Some bees tire of the fight and turn their attention to the empty hive. Nest sites in the wild are hard to find, so this is a gift. But then they all desert. Perhaps the hive isn't good enough. Yamaguchi remains patient. He has faith in the orchid's power over the bees. And then they come. swarm destroys the orchid bloom and they've brought their queen she approves of their new home scarred orchid is testament to the bees' hatred of their bitter rival, the Japanese giant hornet.